Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Long Dark Survival Tutorial. In uh, earlier today, well, same day, I just made the trek up to the mountain nearest hut in Timberwolf Mountain. And now the goal is to get the technical backpack in this episode, and I will do it all in one episode. Don't worry, I will come back here and uh, show you some... Uh, hunting and fishing around Crystal Lake, but focus on the goal. The goal today is to make it to, uh, all that. to get the technical backpack, and I'm going to show you just how to get it, because it's very useful for increasing your carrying capacity. You can see I'm a little tired. Let's fix that. Cup of Joe. I made that coffee off camera, so, uh, that's where that came from. We have a bear just ahead, apparently. I'm just gonna take a quick peek, peek see in this fishing hut. There's no point to rushing because the bear's in the way anyway, for now. Uh, let me just hop in here. Hatchet? No, I don't need another hatchet. Yeah, we can take. I can take a little bit of charcoal. Could end up being useful. No. By the way, frozen angler. Um, another book to read. I haven't had any blizzards to read books in, so that's a minor problem. Weather's been too nice. Let's have a quick bit of crunchy stuff that'll help a bit. What's this? Hope I can still eat this. Mm, I'll take the dog. Oh, well, I'm heavy. That's not helpful. Let's watch out for this bear. I don't want to attract his attention if I can help it. Let me go over. Does he see me? No. I'm gonna head up this way. And give him a wide berth. Bears do not chase after deer, in case you're wondering. But they're very territorial, and they don't like intruders too much. But we are passing the closest point of our approach, and that's um, good. Alright, bear, are you gonna walk straight into that tree, are you? Yep, he walked straight into the tree. <laughs> Less intelligent than the average bear, I guess. There's two ways you can get to um, Ash Canyon, the region, I mean. You can either go through Echo Ravine, or you can go through Deer Clearing. Neither way is really any better than the other. It's, I think it's a little more direct if you go through Deer Clearing, but I can be wrong. Or, well. Oh, you get to pillar, you start in a slightly different spot in the region if you will. If you go through deer clearing, but uh so I'm closer to uh the uh, Echo Ravine at this moment. I won't just go that way. Now there's a couple of cargo containers over here which you can check out. I'll do that when I do my uh how to summon Timberwolf Mountain tutorial. This tutorial is not about summoning Timberwolf Mountain or in the cargo containers. This one is about how to get the technical backpack in Ash Canyon. Ah, I like these mufflers. They're so nice. Let 
me go grab some uh, more. There's some crunchy. There's some more crunchy stuff that I can eat. Mess up a little lighter. Nuts and stuff. There goes my spraying risk. Uh, I'm sorry, some crunchy stuff. There you go. I always forget the thing the uh, to uh, the I always mix up the uh, chocolate bar and the granola uh, bar. So the chocolate bar is uh, I think nuts and stuff, and the granola bar is uh, crunchy stuff. It is windy down here, but that's okay. I'm walking. High noon. I'm just gonna go grab a bit more coffee to keep my energy levels up and stay hydrated. Fortunately, it's no warming up anymore. But I do still have the fatigue. Doesn't the problem with cold coffee. It doesn't keep the warming up benefit. But it still gives you the fatigue reduced yeah. benefit. So it's still worth drinking. Had to drink water myself here. I'm gonna keep myself hydrated while playing the game. It's very important. clearing. But I think we passed out of that already. Must have, yeah, we passed out of that. Alright. Oh boy, you got a frozen bell on here. The backpack. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna make this here for dinner. No, I'm not gonna make more spray paint. I got stuff for now. Hatchet? No, I already got one. Nothing on you, no wonder you're frozen to death. There's a bit of wood down here. This is the way into Ash Canyon. Freezing was just added in December of 2020, so, um, yeah. It's pretty chilly and pretty windy here, so, uh, you want to have good clothing before you go here. We're going to go this way here. We got the Ash Canyon music kicking in. Nice. Fortunately, it's not too windy today. So it's super windy here, and it's hard to walk, but today it's not too bad. This is a big burned out area, so uh, there was a fire here, so it was a story quite a while ago, probably in the summer, and it burned all the bars here. So there are wolves at this lower area here. Sometimes. Keep an eye out. And 
hunt is also there. Good for hunting if that's what you need, but I'm good for now. I don't need to hunt. house up there on the hill, you can you see it? Yeah, you can see it now. Let's call Miners, uh, let's call Homesteaders Respite, and it's a pretty good base location. You have to climb up down there from up there, let me point out. Climb up there from right, right here. You climb down along a path here, and then you can, uh, get to that house there. Once you're there, you can deploy the rope on that, uh, rock over here. Uh, destroy fishing huts. Provide some wildlife protection, but it's not perfect. Uh, there's two major landmarks I want you to keep an eye out. First one over is um, Pillar's Pillar's footrest. Over that away, you'll see it more clearly once you get a bit further. The other one is Wolf's Jaw Overlook, which is just up the head, kind of in that direction. For now, the goal is simple. Just follow the river. Pretty good luck with the wolves so far. This whole uh, survival tutorial. I'm gonna go up here and uh, pass by this waterfall. This is the loop. If you follow this ledge, if I remember correctly, I just have to think for a minute. The route, uh, or somewhere right around here, anyway. Down here, somewhere. No, I think it's down there. Okay. Never mind. We'll just hop down. Note these, uh, that rope bridge up there. See that? See the uh, trees right there? Yup. Run across the bridge like that in the not too distant future. And one thing about them is they sway. So, yeah. Don't, uh, don't look down if you have a fear of height. No. There is a way to get to them where I'm trying to go without uh, crossing the road at all, but I'm not taking that route. I'm going to take the route I'm following as far as you can cross um, at least a couple of road routes. I think that, see that wall up there? That's the Foreman's Retreat. That's also a pretty good base. Oh, we got a pooch over there. Yeah. No way I can deal with you. I mean, just shoot, shoot the revolver. No, he's going though. He's going out of my way. That's good. No, 
Oh yeah, I saw me, did you buddy? Alright, no worries. Alright. Keep the revolver up for now. No need to shoot yet. No, oh, it's like the weather. weather clearing up. It almost looks like it. I uh, outwalked the wolf, alright. This spot over here is the uh, angler's den. If you uh, are ever tired on the way to um, to uh, the mine, this is a great spot to have a rest. All right, let's take a look. There's uh, a couple snares that always this. spawn here, except an interloper, cured leather. Check this drawer. Arrowhead is good for making arrows. He's always spawn here, by the way. Let's do a quick sniffy sniff in this cabin. Put in there, hunting knife. That'll come in handy. No. There's a workbench here too, so if you need to make snares, you can do it right here. This place has uh, a couple beds, it's got nice storage, and you got uh, and you got a stove in here, so it's not a big place, but this place has literally everything you could desire. I think I can use this. I'm gonna leave this food behind me. I won't eat all this dog food. I've got plenty of food on me. So yeah, this, this is definitely a pretty good choice for a, a base in this region. Oh my god, here that I can consume. Okay, eat, eat the sardines. Last resort, there we go. Alright, let's keep moving. Man, what a day to travel. Player, eh? huh. Yeah, I've seen that spawn several times before. It must be a common spawn. What a beautiful day to travel. Those bridges, I'm 99% certain that those are two of the bridges we have to cross. There we go. See that up there? This right here? This is a uh, Wolf's Jaw Overlook. That's a. Uh, Landmark. We wish to recognize. Does it look like a wolf's head to you with the ears there? Yeah, sort of. This really is a cool region, if you ask me. Ah, we get it. It's a little steam. Get a spray and you can help it, buddy. Use the random fire barrel in the middle of the woods. I have no idea why it's here. It's about mid-afternoon. Our 
cog goes right behind this waterfall called the Broad Falls. Well, it's a pretty broad waterfall. Can't climb these if you have a sprained wrist. But encumbrance does not matter. And they uh, they always have roads at the top. Well, if one of them does have roads, it's one of the other ones usually will. There is a spot right here where there's a couple of wolves, so be alert. Tired. Let's have some more coffee so that I keep my energy up. One way to deal with a wolf. And when you reload, you will drop shell cases on the ground. Now these shell cases you should pick up because you can use them to make more bullets later. Now one thing you're gonna do is uh not to do is don't uh pick up your shell cases. Gun in your hand because that's a good way to shoot it accidentally. As you can see, those blood spots are from the wolf. Because I hit him, he will. Eventually, he will um, bleed out and die. You know. And then you can later you can butcher him then and take his coat, his uh, fur, and his meat. But keep in mind, wolf meat does have risk of getting parasites in them. I think a stalker and interloper, not voyager, so be careful how much wolf meat. This stage though, no point in uh in uh waiting for him to die because I don't need the meat. If you do kill a wolf in most areas, it will keep the area safer for a while, but uh, the wolf will respawn after. Period of time, it's it usually takes a few days or a week, maybe. That depends on the difficulty level, though. Wolves respawn faster than Sergeant, medium fast in Voyager, then really slowly in the Yeah, Bridge is where we gotta go. If I remember correctly, I think we should be done with any uh, wolf threats. From here on out, the main threat is falling off a high bridge. There's the cave. Right in there. 
where we gotta go. Where I'm going, anyway, because according to my plan, there are actually three ways to get to um, the uh, backpack. I'm just gonna show you one way, it's the way that I will not go. This may not be the best way, but I think it's a decent one. Let me see, how heavy am I? This is a, this is a rope I'll need to climb, so... Later on, so I don't want to be overloaded. Uh, this is... 0.4 for kilos. I mean, how do I deal with that? Okay, let's just let's just keep moving for now. Alright. So there's a waterfall this cave, which you have to go through. There's no way around it. One trick before you go through a waterfall is take off all your clothing. Something's gotta go. I'll make you heavy, but we're right down to our right. I know something really cool. That's okay. Here I go. It's minus two. Now we're gonna go right through the water. This will put out the lantern. Too cold to think. There we go. Now, we put our clothes back on. There we go. I just put my clothes back on, and now they're dry. You leave your clothes on, you go through a waterfall, and they all become wet, and then they become really heavy. It's a pain in the neck to get to climb a rope later. Then you gotta wait for your clothes to dry again, which is um, kind of boring. evening. Right, that's fine. This cave is very linear, it's very hard to get lost in it. I think there is a corpse somewhere in here. That's the rope we gotta go up. Frozen fella has a frozen fella here. I'll just take a quick look, see what he has on. Let's eat the candy bar. He's got a storm lantern on him. I'm not sure if that always spawns here or not. Revolver cartridge? Yeah, that would come in handy. Place one of the two I used on that pesky pooch, eh? It's marine flare. Well, I don't need that. Let me just figure out how to get rid of my extra weight. Um, drinking water will help a bit, I think. That helps a bit. Anything else I can do? Can I eat like a 
a bit more crunchy stuff. There we go. All right. There's a wolf carcass that spawns down that way, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. That's a long way down. Probably not the best. Yeah, the path is up here. Never mind. If you fall down here, you're pretty well gonna die. Now, this bridge over here, I'm gonna warn you, be slightly careful on it because you can glitch through those planks and get stuck on the bridge. It happened to me once that I got stuck on this bridge. I got stuck on the outside of it. Really unfortunate. Hopefully this gets fixed in a future patch. Oh yeah. This stuff will come in handy. We will need that rope at some later point. Alright, I'll show you where we need to deploy that event. And what a view. I was standing the risk of falling. Too heavy. That's fine. From here on out, there is actually no threat of wolves whatsoever, or bears, or anything. But then again, there isn't really much in the way of wildlife to hunt, so aside from a few rabbits that do spawn around some of them, so prepare to be um, self-sufficient for a bit. There's, uh, there's some rabbits that you can hunt with as so, well, but I'll show you how to do that later. We'll do our episode of hunting. What do we have here? Yes, sir. Raw rainbow Hope I can still eat this. That's good. I'll take the fish. Thank goodness. Always good, too. Now I am carrying way too much stuff. That's okay. Now you notice that when I press the tab now we have a smelly arrow. That's because I picked up that raw fish. Raw meat and um and um uh, guts. Fish. They all give off a set of attractions to predators like wolves and uh bears, so it's best not to um care too much of those around if you're in an area that's infested with predators. Alright, let's cross this rope bridge. You may notice they swing. I want to stay towards the middle of me. And avoid stopping on them if you can at all. Don't worry, you'll not fall through the planks on below. You can go through the railing. You're not super careful. Yeah, yeah, I don't like these. <laughs> the amount of sway is not proportional to the way that far. They always freak like that. Alright, bridge one of two successfully traverse. Yay! Three art wolf shot over. 
Which, by the way, uh, you can see most of the region from here. It's a uh, really beautiful view. I really like this place. There's not much up here, but just the view from here. Second to none. I like this uh, narrow path. Switzerland does a great job with that. These paths that go all over the place. I think that mountain over there is. Behind here is some place called Pillar's Footrest. That's also a mountain that is super, super loaded. Because it is visible from far away. And Good landmark. You should see the uh, location for Wolfville. Oh, here is Pillars for Rest, right here. If you um, come out of uh, Deer Clearing, you come to Ash Canyon right underneath that uh, mountain right there. If you're wondering why I'm pointing at the uh, stuff with the revolver, there's no optic in this game. I need a way to point stuff out. Oh, there's Wolfstone to look itself. Okay, never mind. This is just the uh, shelf before it. Just follow the arrows. You'll get to the mine eventually. Yes, the backpack is in the mine, and I know that. Tired. It's okay. All right, one more rope bridge to get across before we get to um, where I'm trying to go. Wow, this is such a beautiful place. All right, cross your fingers and I make it over without any problem. I prefer not to find out. Oh man, look at that sunset, eh? Wolf to overlook. How the heck a deer carcass got here? Don't ask me. Wow. Look at the and the deer. Let's just stop here for a second and take a look around, eh? It's a deer carcass. This town, this right down there is, um. That's the foreman's cabin right there. And that's Miner's Folly. We came from over that a ways. 
I think we can be anglers then. No, I'm not too kidding. Let's try to work over the edge. Yep, there's anglers then. Way down there. Looks tiny, eh? Oh, yeah, wow. This view is truly amazing. In good weather, that is. It's a bad spot here in Blizzard, but. I think a few places are great in the Blizzard. Alright. Now, to keep going, we have to climb up these, um. locations here. Wow, sun's getting even more beautiful by the minute. Holy smokes. This uh, overhang here is actually a cave with an interior, in case you're asking. So this is can be used for sleeping in. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Good plan. Let me just check. There's no, nothing hiding in here. No. The lantern away. You can actually tell if it's an interior cave or not by how you walk. If you inexplicably slow down, that means you're in an interior. If you look over here, there should be something interesting. I missed it. Polaroid. That's a vista. I think I, did I miss something? I feel like I did. Oh man, the fog roll. See? I think the bears can coat spawn through this cave. Let's just check to verify that at all. But you can only see it from one direction, so. Oh, let me just check whether it is here or not. Maybe I'm thinking of some other spot. Ah, yeah, there it is, right there. That's what I was looking for. There's a rope here, which I don't need. And the bearskin coat. Could end up being useful. It's warm. Holy smokes. And it's heavy. Well, well, long ones. Those are really good too. And climbing socks. All this gear is slowing me down. I bet it is. Okay, buddy. Three point one, two point five. We'll uh, wear this. Risk and coke. It gives us a lot of protection. I'm gonna drop the. Um, old-fashioned parka and uh, in uh, right in here <laughs> a 
A bear skin coat is extremely heavy, but don't worry. We have, I have a solution for that. And we're, I'm also carrying that rope, but that rope I will deploy in a bit. I think the bearskin coat has a chance of scaring away wolves when worn, or I... Well, it's only the wolfskin coat. I thought the bearskin coat did that too sometimes. No, I know the bears can back if you find that. I'll show you where to find that eventually too. If you wear that, you don't have to uh, worry about bears attacking you in your sleep. Wolves are much less likely to attack you in your sleep too. I know you're tired. Unfortunately, there's a convenient cave right up here where you can uh, get some shut eye because I'm. We we'll have to deploy a rope to go down to the uh, mining camp. I'll we'll have to mountain go my way down, but I won't do that. So. I'm just gonna walk over, deploy the rope, and then go back to this cave here for the night. Well, actually, I'll cook up that fish too. Because, um. I gotta make a bit of water too, because darn it, I am low on water. Not cool. Rope weighs five kilos, so once I get that off, I should be a lot lighter and a bit faster. Oh anyway, yeah, I don't hungry. I will deal with that too by cooking up a fish in the cave. I have no idea how they got a boat out here because it's a, usually a saltwater fish. It's been brought here from a long ways away. Alright, deploy rope. Go. Rope is deployed. What have we here? Accelerate. You know what? I'm going to show you how to use accelerate. Because I don't think I've showed it before on the survival tutorial. Have I? No. I know how to burn coal. I've heard of cooking. I've, I've shown you how to cook before. I haven't cooked a fish before, so. Fish are kind of special because they give you a uh, well, lantern fuel. If you have a jerry can, that fuel will go right in the jerry can. I'm going to show you how that works. Alright. Here is shelter. Let's go. Light up the light. Coal in these caves, unless I'm greatly mistaken. Something to burn. Ah, some wood. Perfect. For a firewood, is good. I'm gonna stick this. I'll stick my fire right down here. So you start a fire, you gotta pick a level spot, then use tinder. And if you lose accelerant, this will just make it easier to start. 80% chance, you can do it. That should help warm things up. It does. So let's go cook up some fish. Ooh, that's a lunker. It's a two kilo fish. It's gonna make a little water, so I don't care too much.
Okay, that one's good. We got 0.05 liters of a lamp. We're gonna need to rest soon. Sure. Anything else we can cook here? Need some coffee. Let me put some. Put some coal on the fire. No, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Okay, let's 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 eat some more of our food before we do anything else. No, oh, hold on, I'm gonna put these wool long top on because they're actually really warm. Oh, much better. What do we got here for? Hold on, let me put these other underwear on. Okay, what can I eat that's kind of heavy? Let's eat the little cow. And some ketchup chips. Alright, now let's put our bedroll down and let's go to sleep. Now, if you sleep in the back of a cave like this, don't sleep for more than a couple hours at once. Especially if you don't have a fire going, because otherwise you can freeze to death now. Because we have a fire going for about three hours, we should be fine to sleep for about five hours. Can we sleep a couple more hours? I have to figure out how to get rid of this weight fairly quickly. Yeah. Well, we're gonna run. It's okay to run for a bit. This is rough. What should I get rid of? You need to drop something to go down that way. Nice job. In the dog. Okay, that's it. Surround me all the stuff here, otherwise I'll forget about it. Now, if you have to go along, if I can climb up here again, I can only stop on the ledge here and have a stand up. But it's no need. My goal now is to get down as fast as possible.
run this over this way and get us to the line. I think gears feel numb. I know. Feel numb. It's okay. Yeah, waterfall, that's where I want to go. I know the weather turns so nice up there. It's crappy. That's great bear weather for you. Freezing. No, not freeze for long. Here's the here's the railway. I'm gonna follow the railway guys. Okay. Here we go. Water's good. Candy bar is useful. Notebook page. I will leave it on screen. You can read it. A so your backpack with all the bells and whistles. You can carry more gear before becoming encumbered. So we'll take it. There we go. Now we have the technical backpack and the carrying capacity has been increased. So I think we'll call it quits after searching this frozen pellet, of course. Maybe that's who this backpack Could end up being wants. useful. And, uh, yeah. So, take care. Hope you enjoyed this. Found it helpful for how to get the backpack. And 
with also a bearskin coat. And in that, I can put an episode on how to make your own bearskin coat and how to later if you're interested. And take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back. I would just like to add a um, quick aside that you don't have to leave the uh, gold mine the way you came in. If you look here, there's this uh, ramp that you're on, that I'm on now. It's uh, very close to where you found the technical backpack. You just follow it right through here. I can find a rifle cartridge. I'll just pick that up. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. There you go, you can see the light there. That is the other exit. That's one way to get out of the gold mine. Alright. Now that you're out of the mine, you will have to um, carefully uh, hop down here. This is a one way trip. Fella. Nothing on him. That's what he got down. Whoops. That was a slightly longer fall than I meant to take. Oh well. You can jump down there, that's a bit safer, but anyway. Once you're down here on this level, you've got a couple of options. You can either go down uh, these uh, three ropes down, uh, down uh, this way here. That'll take you back towards uh, to a mountain if you go that way, or you can go back up uh, here. And if you go this way for a bit, follow a narrow passageway, you'll get back up to that ridge over Miner's Folly, which is where we got, came from to go into the mining camp. Anyway, I'm not going to spoil the whole region for you, so uh, I'm going to put it right here. And uh, I hope this uh, guide helped you find the technical backpack and explore the rest of Ash Canyon. So take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.